Hello, Steve's Auto Care here, and today we're doing a timing belt on a Subaru, and I just wanted to go over possible cause of a noise that's in the timing belt area. Okay, you see these are shiny pulleys, these are all brand new, and let's go over another one here. Uh, let's see, where did I put it? Here it is over here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. This here. This is a pulley on a timing belt. This is a cog, however you want to call it. See if we can hear it. i got to hold the center. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm going to move the camera so that uh, noise can be heard down by the speaker. So bear in mind, I'm going to spin it for you. Do you hear that? That is this pulley making a noise. And we'll go over here. This is the timing belt. I'm doing this one-handed so bear with me and that's how it lines up now we're changing this one because this timing belt happened to jump a tooth now how does a timing belt jump a tooth as soon as I find the old tensioner here there's the tensioner this is hydraulic it's got a uh, pressurized piston right here and this little knob pushes against the uh, engine and forcing this to come down and the belt will ride right on this side and it'll keep it tight but if you look let's see let me get a light here if you look right inside see how it's kind of nasty looking inside there that means it's leaking that also means that this tensioner is not as strong as it could be. So, we're changing that. And when I say it jumped a tooth, if you look at that white mark, that white mark is supposed to line up with that hash. That little, uh, I'll try to point it out here. Uh, right here, you can see it better with, with my finger. So, this mark that little white mark is supposed to line up with that there. When the car came to me, you get a tool. That mark was about right that. So what happened when it did that? Oh, uh, get more light in here. Let's see, can't really see it. I can't point and hold and hold the camera at the same time. But right here, uh, come on, light. Right here is a cam sensor. You see the just protruding right there, that little round disc that senses the position of the cam. Now, with this being off a tooth. It's off a tooth in relation to this gear here, which is the crankshaft. When those two get out of alignment, it throws the, cr the cam sensor off. And then the engine starts running all kinds of crazy. It puts a code for a bad cam sensor when it was not the cam sensor. It was the mechanical timing that threw the signal off for that cam sensor. But the computer doesn't know that. The computer always assumes that mechanical is fine. That is why you have to have a good diagnostics when it comes to pulling codes on a car. Now the cam sensor on this car for that cam sensor it's uh, about 50 bucks, 55 bucks. If the owner of the vehicle had gone to Joe Schmo pull code and replace that sensor, he'd be back at square one with a rough running engine, but just with a new sensor that made no difference. Um, that is the problem I have when people go, can't you 
just plug into the computer and the computer tell you what's wrong? No. The computer only tells me what information it's getting that is not right. That doesn't tell me what's wrong. There's a huge difference in that. But anyway, just a quick little video here. Thanks for watching. How do we end this? Oh, here we go. Finish. Goodbye.